and welcome to the final video in this series of how to videos for creating a simple maze game in stencil and hopefully now you've got pretty much a working game hopefully you've got um, a level something like this you've got a, mo a moving player character who can who can collect objects uh, who's pursued by an enemy character and then when the objects are collected an exit appears and every time you collect an object hopefully a score also updates on screen if, if your game isn't at that point you might want to go back and look at some of the previous videos in that series because this is where we're going to pick up from and it, what we've done in our last video is we just got to the point where we'd added the, the code to make the door appear when the key cards have all been collected so in fact that's what I actually need to do. I need to go back and, and, and make a little change to uh, one of my actors because there's a bit of a mis not a mistake as such, but I need to change the physics properties for my exit. And it's always just a good idea to remember to do that whatever you're working, whichever actor you're working with. You always think about what the physics will need to be. So I don't, obviously it cannot move. This is a door, so it can't move and if we set it to can't move it negates all the issues with rotating and gravity and stuff there so what all I need to do is a really simple final bit of code which I'm going to add to my player and I'm going to create a new event that will simply allow me to check to see whether the player has collided with the door and if they've collided with the door it means that they, they they've exited the level and then they can win um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to add event and it's going to be a collision event and I'm going to go for uh, a specific thing. I'm going to go for actor of type. So when actor hits uh, double click exit, uh, what do I want to happen? What I want to happen is that I want the scene to appear. So the scene that's going to appear is the game over scene that's like a win as opposed to the game over scene that's when they've lost so I'm gonna go scenes and then drag that in there switch to scene so double click choose the scene that I want to go to and you'll notice that I've set it that I've got a victory scene which I've also created that's similar to, to the one I did for the game over screen this is a victory screen uh, it's okay and then I can choose if I want the crossfade for how long it's going to be. Let's just put two seconds. And hopefully that will work. So the other thing I'm going to do, because it's good practice, remember, is to rename my event. So I'm going to call it, um, whoops, I'm going to call it uh, exit level event. So exit, exit level. Apply my changes. And we're good, hopefully. So I'm going to pause the video while I compile the game, and then we'll see the game running, and hopefully it will work. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so in the final stages of the compilation of the game, just going to wait for it to load. And what we'll do at the end of the game is we'll, we'll look at and, and see if there's some other things that we could maybe add to the level to make it improve. So there, I've collected all three of my key cards I've now just got to avoid oh my goodness me well that wasn't very successful <laughs> at least it proves that the game works let's, let's have a, a go at that again and um, see if actually we, we can win the game alright so let's give this another go see if I can if I can be a bit better this oh there we go this time and there we are fades out to the win screen and that is our completed game so obviously at this point now we, we've had a walk through stencil right from the point of, of creating your first graphics of designing a level to managing your collisions adding extra characters scoring um, and you should now be at the point where you're familiar enough with how stencil works to be able to experiment and play with some other features obviously we've not looked at shooting but that's something you could add you could add more levels to this game try and look at ad additional movement patterns for the enemies different objects uh, putting sound in uh, and we'll explore some of these things in later videos but for the moment hopefully now you've got enough skill and confidence in stencil to be able to go and make a simple game from scratch so 
hope these videos have been useful um, good luck and have fun making a game and I'll see you again soon